What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Unreal C++ Fundamentals video. Today we'll be briefly discussing the reflection system as well as the Unreal garbage collection system. I'll be giving a high level overview of what the reflection system is, what garbage collection is, U object handling, U property and U function as well as what are some of the most common specifiers for each. The reflection system is a technology that allows the engine to examine itself at runtime. It's an ability of the program to understand its structures and metadata. Some of the key points of the reflection system are U object, which is the base class for objects in Unreal that defines a template for a new object or actor class. Macros are used in the reflection system to encapsulate your classes with various macros that provide engine and editor functionality. For instance, a U object class tagged with the U class macro allows a U object handling system to be aware of it. T subclass of is a template class that provides U class type safety. You would use this to ensure that a value assigned to a variable is of a specific type only. Structs are a data structure that help organize and manipulate related member properties as defined by the programmer. Unreal smart pointers are a custom implementation of the standard C++11 smart pointer system, but designed to be incorporated into the Unreal reflection system to handle memory allocation and tracking. Interfaces provide functions and additional gameplay behavior you can implement in multiple or different classes. They allow different classes or instances of a class to handle functionality independent of how the other classes have implemented the interface. Interacting with an ice cream cone is different than interacting with a crafting table. Interfaces allow the flexibility to call a single function and, if implemented, handle the function appropriately. Metadata specifiers control how classes, functions, variables, and other macros interact with the various aspects of the engine and editor. Each type of data structure or member has its own list of specifiers. U property and U function macros make Unreal aware of new classes, functions, and variables. Among other things, specifying a function or variable as a U function or U property allows them to be managed by the Unreal garbage collection system. The reflection system powers many features of the Unreal engine, such as detail panels in the editor, serialization, garbage collection, network replication, and blueprint and C++ communication. This is an opt-in system, meaning you need to specify any types or properties that you want to be visible in the reflection system. Garbage collection is a form of automatic memory management in Unreal. When you create an object derived from U object, it gets registered with the Unreal Engine's garbage collection system. The system is designed to automatically manage memory, freeing up resources that are no longer in use. The garbage collection system runs automatically, looking for any objects that are no longer being used and removes them. The system has a root set of objects that it knows should permanently be alive. It uses reflection to look at the properties of your objects and follows the references to other objects. If an object is found while traversing through other objects and one of those objects is contained within the root set, then the object is considered reachable and kept alive. If there's no way to reach an object in the root set by looking at the references, the object is considered unreachable and marked for garbage collection. When an object is garbage collected, the memory that represented is freed and returned to the system. To utilize the garbage collection system, all you need to do is instantiate your U object derived objects as you normally would. Include any functions and variables in reflection by applying the U property and U function macros and the garbage collection system will automatically take care of the rest. When you're done using an object, simply set the variable that points to it as null. The garbage collection system will recognize the object is no longer in use and will automatically free up the memory. By marking your classes, properties, and functions with your appropriate macros, it gives Unreal access to them, which allows for a number of under the hood handling features to be implemented. Some of these features include garbage collection, which we just discussed, automatic property initialization, which automatically zeroes all U objects, U properties, and native members, automatic updating of references, which will automatically null all references that are visible in the reflection system, such as when an actor or actor component are destroyed or otherwise removed from play. Serialization, which allows all properties values to be automatically written and read unless explicitly marked transient or unchanged in the constructor. When new properties are added or removed, loading pre-existing content is handled seamlessly. New properties get default values copied from the new class default object. And editor integration, such as exposing variables and functions to your blueprint classes, runtime type information, and casting network replication. There's several U property and U function specifiers and metadata specifiers, but some of the more common ones you'll see are visibility specifiers, which give permission to how the property is seen in the editor, editing specifiers, which gives edit permissions inside the editor, blueprint specifiers, giving editor permissions as to the availability of using a variable in a blueprint graph, 
category specifier so you can organize your variables. And for networked games, you'll use replicated and replicated using specifiers to allow your properties to be properly replicated where needed. UFunction has some similar type specifiers that you use regularly with several others that are more specific to, get to a given need. You'll commonly use Blueprint Callable, which allows your functions to be called in a Blueprint Graph. Blueprint Pure, which will allow you to type your function as pure, reliable for network replication during multiplayer, and of course, category. And some of the meta specifiers are expose on spawn, which allows you to expose a variable when spawning a new object, display name to give your variable or function a different name than its default name, clamp min and clamp max to keep your ints and floats within range, allow private access, which allows you to use a private variable in a blueprint when marking that same variable as blueprint read, write, or similar. Development only, which is only run in development mode and is good for debugging output that is not expected to exist in the shipping build and the deprecate function, which is useful when you are deprecating a function. This will cause compilation warnings letting developers know that the function is being deprecated and can pass a message with the deprecation message specifier. I hope you guys have found this quick video useful. If you did, consider smashing that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing while you're down there liking it and hit that bell to be notified whenever a new video drops. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below or consider joining the Discord channel to get personal assistance by me as well as the community. Again, thanks for watching and until the next one, peace.